So we receive really interestingly contradictory messages. On one hand, we need dialogue. We need a national dialogue. We need a dialogue about this. We need a dialogue about that. Town halls, those kinds of things. And then you just can't talk about this stuff. There's just things you can't talk about. We can't talk, we can't talk. So, so we get these messages, um, mixed messages all the time. And so you and I are dialogue practitioners. Yeah. So I think it's important for us to say, what is dialogue possible? When is it possible? And what is it actually? So why don't you tell a little bit about where you come from with and your work with dialogue, and then we can talk more about what it actually is. Okay, so I come from Northern Ireland. 40 years of violent political and sectarian conflict uh, fought out between a Catholic people and a Protestant people who were both struggling to secure their sense of ownership and belonging at the expense of the other. I'm the product of long-standing failed attempts to successfully manage that conflict. Unfortunately, we have three primitive basic programmed responses to conflict, um, to fight, to run, to hide. And what's really interesting is that, as you were saying the word conflict, yes. I was feeling that twinge in my stomach of how it's like conflict is a bad thing that, yes. that we learn and we have to manage it. Yes. And I, and I realized that conflict is really another word for diversity. This other thing yes. that we're told and we believe in, is such a, a positive thing, which is different views about different things and lots of different facets, right? Of, of different perspectives, different experiences. And that's what conflict is. It's a moment where those experiences, differences come to the surface and they somehow, they feel like they're colliding. And that kicks in this instinctive, oh, there's a threat. What I've learned is that conflict itself is not the threat. Yes, 100% agree. Conflict is a part of nature. Conflict is natural. Conflict is essential. It's essential to human life, growth and development. Mm -hmm. Without it, we're history. The thing is that how we manage conflict renders it either destructive or constructive and creative. Mm -hmm. We're just lousy at managing conflict effectively. So that what does it take to do something different when we encounter conflict besides fight, run away, or hide? A, a very simple thing is to just be curious, to discover what is it that this person has or thinks or experiences that makes them have that view and not my view. We could just discover, but we have stories, histories, values, experiences, teams that we're on that prevent us from being able to do that. And so I see another piece of the dialogue is removing the barriers to what allows me to hear you, to have empathy with you, to understand you. So I think one of the, when we get to this shared understanding, one of the tools that I like, I think that we can take away practically from dialogue is what if when I encountered that conflict, I just listened? I just tried to be curious about you. The obstacles are greater and more significant. And I say that because most people have a deep, profound need to understand why life sucks, why it's such a struggle, why is it so hard? I need to know who's at fault. And my leaders understand that I need to know who's at fault. And the media understands. So who's at fault? Them, mm. obviously, mm -hmm. them. We have within us both the capacity for understanding, tolerance, acceptance of diversity, and a profound appreciation for creative ways of managing conflict. At the same time, we have in us the need, the hunger, the drive, the programming to make things simpler, more black and white, exclusive. And the way most of us grow up tends to skew most of us 
towards that simplistic black and white notion of the world. And so the, the, the role of a facilitator and a facilitated dialogue then is, is what? The facilitator is asking me to have the courage to step away from the security of my knowledge that I'm right and you're wrong.